I skip town, see my wrist down. Everybody wanna f me for benefits now. Man, I wish my money could've seen me live. Yo, what is good? I'm back. Today, I just want to talk about some uh, things relating to the future of theme parks, as well as coronavirus, and whether the theme parks are going to be opening this summer. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going around, people throwing out dates like June 1st, May 1st, mid-May, mid-June, whatever really they can think of, they're throwing it out there with no real uh, evidence to back it. And I'm here to try to try to clear it up a little bit and give you guys some information about when it would end, uh, and, and you guys can make your own decision on when you think it would end. Um, so the first I want to, thing I want to do is introduce what I'm going to do here. I'm going to talk about, in general, the theme park industry and, and the, the country as a whole and when we are more likely to reopen things such as theme parks. And after that, we're going to go park by park and talk about the future of the park and see whether they're going to maybe take revenues from new rides and stuff of that nature. So first, uh, I'm going to talk about the three phases of the reopening for America, right? And say, phase one, as we can see in this, diagram here it's it's just small steps towards reopening right there's no really really large groups and and that's kind of what we're transitioning to right now um and then after that we're going to go into phase two which is we're starting to reopen stuff we're starting to reopen businesses and people are starting to go out and then eventually phase three where we return to normal operations with social distancing and towards the end of that phase as we progress through it uh theme parks are going to reopen and everything's going to go pretty much back to normal uh, a lot of people are saying that phase three is going to require a vaccine. I don't think that's true. I just think we just need to see a continuous decrease in coronavirus. Um, and what, what scientists are saying, what uh, uh, researchers are saying are that in order for us to really officially start phase one, right, which is what we're looking to do, uh, we need to see a two week period of consistent declines. Before we've seen like a one week decline in, in, in coronavirus cases, and then it shoots back up and one week shoots back up right and the reason is that is because different parts of america are peaking at the same time at different times right so new york new jersey peaked a couple weeks ago but somewhere like ohio is not really at that peak yet so it's kind of averaging out so that's the reason why we haven't seen that one clear peak yet and once we see the indication that we have that peak and right we're going to go on, on the two-week period we're going back down that's when we can really start phase one and then from there, people are estimating that it's about a one month period between each phase, between phase one, phase two, and then phase two and phase three. So at best, this is at best, we're looking at a July 1st-ish, early July opening. And that's at best, that's if coronavirus like stops tomorrow. We, we just start instantly declining, right? And that's not the most likely scenario. I think it's important that we do recognize that it's a very real possibility that most parks, if not all parks, will not open in the 2021 summer, and we're going to have to wait till the next year. But I hope not. I, I sure I, I really had a lot of plans this summer, and hope when that that's not going to be true. But we do need to recognize that that is a possibility. So now I just want to talk about some of the parks in specific. And first, we're going to talk about Disney, Universal, and Hershey, right? So these are the kind of parks that own multiple things. Uh, they're honestly in the best shape as a company right now as compared to a Six Flags or a Cedar Fair or a SeaWorld. Uh, for Disney, though, let's look at them, for example. Only 20% of their revenue is going to come from theme parks. Meaning that they're going to get the revenue from other places during this time. Disney Plus, like ESPN, and like stuff like that on TV. Those revenues are actually going up right now because people are at home kind of doing nothing. While the, all of the theme parks are going down, that stuff is going to balance it out. And it won't take as big of a hit on the company. So thus, in the future, they're not going to really uh, see too much of a difference in, in new rides and stuff like that and new development. Uh, however, this does mean that they're not going to be too um, advanced, too too excited to rush us into to opening those new parks. So I would expect Disney, Universal, and Hershey to be among the last parks to reopen their things. I think that those kind of companies don't need the revenues as we just talked about, so they're not going to really um, – push the park's opening to as early as possible. They're going to continue to work on social distancing levels and maybe get some virtual queue lines like Disney was developing, I know, and stuff like that. And they're, they're probably going to be one of the laters, in my opinion. And then there's the SeaWorld Six Flags and Cedar Fair. Uh, at the end of the day, they, they rely off the income that they're, they're missing right now 
through this this horrible season that we're going through, right? And what I feel like is going to happen is what we're seeing with the Apex Parks in Indiana Beach, where Apex uh, had to sell off Indiana Beach and get rid of it because they, they knew the revenues were going to go down. They're not going to have enough money to support it. So for large parks like SeaWorld, Six Flags, and Cedar Fair, uh, they're Fortune 500 companies. There's no way that the federal government is going to let them dry out. They're going to probably fall off a bankruptcy and the federal government will be right there to bail them out. So there's no way they're going to go totally bankrupt, right? But what we can see is that they're going to try to take revenues and, and money from other places to try to decrease their losses. So one example is is what we're seeing right now. Uh, Six Flags currently is taking their new for 2020 rides off their websites. Thank God it's not like there's a devil. There's some smaller ones. Uh, the one with Discovery King, that weird spinny ride. I don't believe it's like the spinny roller coaster kind of stupid but whatever uh they took that off the website and that's not new for 2020 anymore so what six flags is doing is they're stopping construction new development and they're gonna try to just save money because they know that revenues are gonna be tough and, and, and if you see if you look at it they're they're in a bad situation right now so they're gonna really try to get out of it in any way possible and these are the parks that i expect to reopen as soon as possible uh, one thing I do want to see is is all these parks. I'm not too sure about SeaWorld, but I know Six Flags and Cedar Fair are not doing as much as I want to see in, in social distancing improvements. We see Disney improving like the virtual queue line things and, and stuff like that. But Six Flags and Cedar Fair are kind of lagging behind them. Uh, Six Flags can definitely maybe convert their flash pass system to to a virtual queue line completely. But overall, we need to see more if we want it to reopen faster. And seeing the indications of they're taking precautions already as to we're taking away these new rides, as well as they're, they're not doing as much as they can for social distancing. We understand that they're, they understand we're not looking too good. We're not going to reopen anytime soon. Um, outside of that, I do think that if I had to guess, I think Six Flags and Cedar Fair Parks are going to open mid-August to early September for the haunt season, whatever it's called, in Cedar Fair and, and uh, Fred Fest and Six Flags. I think it'll open there and, and close about on holiday in the parks just so they can get in some revenue for this year to balance everything out. I expect a complete cut of all 2021 rides, I don't think any any new rides, significant rides at least, are going to be made. Maybe they'll have a Kitty Land or two or a, or a water park edition, but nothing significant. I don't expect for the 2021 season for these three parks, these park uh, companies. And overall, I just think they're going to try to rush it in. Hopefully, we see more more social distancing improvements and, and we'll we'll keep you i'll keep you updated on that kind of stuff what they're doing as a company overall and and how they're going to fight this as for disney universe and hershey i don't think they're open in 2021 I'm going to be honest in 2020 excuse me i think they're going to open 2021 um disney universal they open their year round so 2021 is my opinion january 1st they'll be reopened they'll have all these new social distancing and they will be completely fine as a company we won't see any difference in construction or whatever and i think those parks will be overall okay as compared to the six flag and cedar fair um i guess that's about it thank you guys for watching and just Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys think about this whole situation and where you think these parks are going to go.